was it like to look over there and see Sting and Shaggy? Is it like... <laughs> this is the most surreal day I've ever had in my life. It is, Absolutely isn't it? incredible. I've just, I've, I just met Shaggy and Sting. I know. <laughs> and Denise Van Alten, of course. I mean, you know, You've got a... a wedding coming up. You should book them. I mean, that would be incredible. Guys, if you're available, um, <laughs> next year, <laughs> there is a space for you guys. I know we were talking about Meghan Markle. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> but... Oh, Shaggy wants cash. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay you in sweet, sweet hugs, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, there's a happy ending here because there is a wedding on the horizon, but you've got a book out just now that uh, takes us on the rocky road to that path, shall we say. I mean, it's kind of like Adrian Mole on yeah. testosterone, isn't it? That's yeah, book of it very much is. You've got yourself in some scrapes, boys, haven't you? It's, uh, it was a rocky road uh, yes. to where I got to. Um, but it's, yeah, I had some real... Uh, Real bad experiences, but I think that's the nice thing about the book. It's the thing where you go like, oh, everyone has bad times, but it worked out well in the end. And, uh, but yeah. But didn't you start out in the book by saying, or start out when you were quite young, saying that you wanted to sleep with 40 women? That was it. That was... The... And stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, so I wrote a diary entry when I was 17 that said I wanted to, I want to sleep with... I think I should sleep with 40 people and stop there. Why 40? And I don't know. I was 17. I had no idea. <laughs> I think that was the highest number I could think of. Um, How many had you slept with by that stage? And so that was, I was one. I'd just done one. Oh, right. Okay. And, um, and so I had lofty ambitions. And then, uh, and yeah, and so the, the book's about sort of charting that course along the way and, you know, had some... And how do the 40 women feel about this book that you've written? <laughs> uh, I changed their names. And so now it's... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I asked the ones where it was kind of obvious that it was maybe them and people could find out and... It's it's all done in niceness and in jest. There's no one horrible them, hard stuff. One of them actually been your best friend. Yes. Yeah. It's sort of me. I had an absolute best friend, and we we uh, we sort of we just we got on really well. And, <laughs> really, and, a bit and, too well. Yeah. I mean, it was. But then she was the she was sort of the last one before I then realised I was like, okay. So she was number forty. She was number. 40. And did she know about this that you needed to get to forty? Did she know she was one of the? No, the number. But she didn't know. Oh, no. no, we talked about the whole forty thing. Like she's been my best friend for forever. So this is your so. childhood friend. Yeah. And you get to what the age of thirty, and you and then you do together. it. And you just go. You go like because you're like, well, this is this must be. It must be you. It must be you. No, you must been, be the you'd one. You've been on a date. You'd been on a date, hadn't you? The pair of you, and you, and you didn't like the two people that were there. They went off together. So then you two ended up together. Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah, and we went for it, and uh, we were just like. <laughs> Do, you know, why not? Because we were like, oh, we're best friends. We've been best friends forever. Well, let's, let's do it. Let's was do it. Was it a bit of like, let's just see what it's like? Yeah. yeah. And then we did it. We were like, oh, we're best friends. Oh, this is weird. So are you, <laughs> are you, are you weird. still good friends now? Yeah, it's fine. And Hannah, how Hannah, how does she feel about that? She's she's great about it. And, is she all right uh, around your friend? Yeah. That must be quite weird. I'd find it yeah. really weird, wouldn't you? I yeah. Could do it. I'd always feel like yeah. when they're not there. Hannah's the best. And, yeah. She's the best thing ever. She's the best thing that's ever so, happened to so me. So tell us a bit oh. more about Hannah. How did you meet Hannah? So uh, we met on Instagram, and um, you know that old classic, guys. <laughs> uh, so who, li <laughs> who liked who on Instagram? Did you like one of her pictures, she, or did she like you? She sent me a uh, um, a little emoji with the cat with the heart eyes, and um, that was it. That was it. You know. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that was it. Like That's all it takes. Oh, it is all you know, for It used to be like, you had me at hello, now it's like, you had me at emoji. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, we just get on super well, and obviously the end of the book is I proposed to her. And, um, so how so, did you propose? What did you do? I literally, it was it's the last page of the book, and uh, I talk about her throughout, and then it's, uh, I gave her the first publication of the book, the first version of it, and... Um, I got her to read the whole book. It was like a 90,000 word proposal. And um, ripped out the final page, and then she read it, and then she came home. She's like, Why have you ripped out the final page? And then I got down one knee and read her. But did, didn't you have two? Thanks, guys. You were just in a tandy with two hundred candles. Yeah, yeah. I lit, I lit 200 candles in my flat, and I was wearing a tuxedo. And I realised on that day uh, how uh, hot a small London flat gets <laughs> with 200 candles. I was sweating profusely. And um, I was wearing a full tuxedo. And then when I asked her, she went, um, she went I'm wearing a Rod Stewart T-shirt. So <laughs> she was like, I'm too underdressed for this. And then, obviously, she said yes, which was great. So when's the wedding? Next year, I think. And, um... and are, are there family members you won't be invited? Yeah, well, we're doing it super small. So we're, we, we've got, like, 21 people, I think. So it's plus like... Sting Plus Sting and Shaggy. Plus Sting and Shaggy. 23, 24. 
Um, so it's great. I mean, so Shaggy's going to be doing the wedding himself. He's going to be the vicar. Yeah. And uh, then Sting's going to come in in a helicopter. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> what am I doing? The you're, buffet. you're just going to yeah, you're going to be in the buffet. Yeah, you're going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dinner lady just handing out. Um, and uh, so it's super small. We always knew it was going to be small. And that was really liberating because when we, when we told everyone about the engagement, we would be like, oh, we're getting married. And we'd be like, but none of you are invited. <laughs> you know? And so it's really nice to contain it. I just don't really understand why you need to give a three-course meal to your second cousins. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, so like we're all adults. You and Meghan Markle, oh. you're both the same, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. You really are. Yeah. So after the hearts in the cat's eye, then what happened? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get to me? You want the details, Linda? How yeah. did you get to me? Well, I've been burnt before with online relationships. Well, you sure have. And, um, and so, uh, so, yeah, we just talked back and forth and back and forth and then... Um, I realised that she was a real person, and then we. Not um, just a cat with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. And uh, and then we uh, we eventually met up, and then we just got on super well immediately. And uh, we went on a lovely first date. And this is now what we do is we uh, for every anniversary we replicate our first date together. So I think that's quite oh, a nice. Oh, that's thing nice. To do. Oh, you are romantic. I know it's so quite fun.